You know, employers have one of the more balanced perspectives in terms of, uh, of health care. They want their employees to get the care they need, but of course they are paying the bill and they want it to be efficient as well and, and not wasted. Uh, I think uh, we've moved in some ways to give consumers more control over the spend uh, for health care, but frankly it's very difficult for them to navigate a system uh, that is largely guided by their physicians and, and, and whatnot. So increasingly, I think employers are, are trying to advocate for their employees to give them better information to actually help them to uh, navigate their choices in the system appropriately. Uh, there's a couple areas that I think are very promising. One is the area of advocacy. Patients have a very difficult time navigating the system. Uh, and I think when you actually give them uh, support to understand what their choices are and to help uh, navigate those choices, it, it can make a big difference. Uh, we've actually seen the impact of that, not just in terms of improving um, their use of services, but actually having an impact on, on costs as well. It actually has reduced the, the trend in costs and, and has had very high satisfaction as well. Another area I think that has been very positively received has been what I would uh, call advanced primary care, where uh, we invest more in primary care. It has tended to had, have uh, uh, a reduction in, in downstream costs, whether it's uh, referrals to specialists, but also the use of emergency room, urgent care centers, or, or, um, or hospital visits. Uh, and so I, I think uh, Increasingly, I think we're trying to figure out how to spend smarter on the front end to, to impact downstream costs.